A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a dazzling display of music and community spirit, Taylor Swift's highly anticipated era's tour made its grand entrance into New Orleans on Friday, October 25, 2024. The first of three sold-out shows at the iconic Caesars Superdome drew over 50,000 fans, transforming the city into a vibrant hub of Swifty enthusiasm and Halloween festivities. As the concertgoers adorned in era's tour t-shirts flooded the streets of the Big Easy, local businesses embraced the Swifty takeover, offering themed menu items such as the Holy Ground Hurricane and Fearless Jambalaya. Bars and restaurants hosted special events, including karaoke and trivia nights, catering to the influx of Taylor Swift fans celebrating their love for the pop icon. The energy in New Orleans was palpable as fans from Canal Street to Bourbon Street eagerly anticipated the show, blending seamlessly with the city's Halloween celebrations. The atmosphere was electric, with revelers sporting creative costumes inspired by Swift's music videos and performances. Swift herself acknowledged the unique spirit of the tour, expressing gratitude to her fans for turning it into a movement of joy and community. You created traditions. You created this massive movement of joy, she said, referring to the friendship bracelets that have become a hallmark of the era's tour experience. A giant friendship bracelet adorned the front of the Caesars Superdome, symbolizing the connection between Swift and her fans. Despite New Orleans not being a central theme in her lyrical catalog, Swift paid homage to the city through her performance and outfits. During the show, she donned a purple top, yellow skirt, and green boots, reminiscent of Mardi Gras colors and king cake, further solidifying her connection to the vibrant culture of New Orleans. The excitement reached new heights as Swift debuted a stunning red, white, and blue chiffon dress ahead of her surprise songs, igniting cheers from the audience. Fans were treated to a spirited mashup of her early hit, Our Song, and the reflective, Call It What You Want, showcasing the evolution of her music. As the concert concluded, the streets of New Orleans erupted with joy, particularly when Swift surprised the crowd with the performance of The Black Dog, paired with Haunted. In a playful nod to her boyfriend, NFL star Travis Kelsey, Swift mimicked throwing a football during her performance of Midnight Rain, sending fans into a frenzy on social media. The era's tour in New Orleans was not just a concert. It was a celebration of music, community, and the enduring connection between Taylor Swift and her fans. As the final notes echoed through the Superdome, the spirit of the evening lingered in the air, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who experienced it. With two more shows to come, The Big Easy is set to continue its love affair with Taylor Swift, proving once again that music has the power to unite and inspire. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.